like to convey to you something very specific and very important. That is the heart of our program. You know, of late there is a fashion that I want to do something of my own. And this particular thing, we are need to look at it in the context of what we have been discussing is about family business. Now, there is a very big difference between family business and talking about doing my own. One thing is talking about doing my own. Another thing is doing something on my own. Talking about doing my own seems to have a tone of complaint about the existing business. So something that either the business I am not attracted, I, I don't feel good or working with family members or working in all. And I'm in search of some other glamorous things outside. Now, this mindset is not a best mindset to learn. Really speaking, our family business is the school to talk about business the most. The best learning will come from respecting our family business. And when this word comes, now I want to do something of my own. This is where we have this issue one once a Swamiji came to our program. So he gave a talk on, on about Gita and different things. And this was a little heavier for the class. So when the class got over, there was a very good amount of clapping. So then I realized, since then I realized that after the class, when there is a very big amount of clapping, it could be for two purposes. One purpose is, thank God the class is over. And perhaps the other purpose is that, okay, it was a good class. So anyway, the class was over. Swamiji was taken to green room. And then ours was a small college. So students do all the voluntary work. So one student brought a cup of tea. Swamiji taking a sip of the tea with a brilliant smile on his face is saying, the student said, Mane bana. Oh, tu chai bhi bana sakta hai. The student blushed a little bit. Bata kaise bana hai? Ek top mein paani liya. Tu ne paani kaise bana hai? Mane paani ni bana hai. Paani to nal mein aata hai. Okay, tu nal mein kaise laya? Main nal mein nahi laya. Woh reservoir se aata hai. Okay, tu reservoir mein kaise laya? I reservoir not have a reservoir, I have a reservoir. Okay, then what is it? Then I have a blood, 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 Now, Swamiji was telling, Abhi to khali pani aur dood hua hai, Abhi to chai pati baki hai, sakkar baki hai. Aur ye jab chaaro milte na, to chai nahi banti hai. You need to put fuel. And that was the most important lesson that is there, he said in the next line. Jab insan ek kap chai khud ne bana sakta, what is this arrogance coming that I am going to do something of my own? None of us can do anything on our own. We are always dependent and connected with others. So when we are dependent and connected with others, as Hiten sir talked about supply chain in business, if we are dependent and connected with our family, what is most important thing is to understand our relation with our family. You see, we are what we are. Not we were not born on our own. Today, if we can speak whatever language, today if we can think something, it's all because of our family. Now, my grandfather was in a village. Maybe he was a farmer. But then he shifted to city and he started some business. He knew nothing. But whatever business he started came at some stage whereby my father got certain different kind of qualities inculcated in himself and he got to another level of business. And it is because of all that today I am able to talk what I am. So actually, 
we may talk very easily and comfortably a word called cool but we can do all this because of the exert efforts exertions struggles and sacrifice of parents and parents of our parents and it's all that that now finally has come to you so we are not just on our own khali mera dimag nahi chalta hai mera dimag is also thanks to them so if we understand this that we are a part of the chain then comes what is expected from us the whole thing expected from us is that whatever inheritance we get we have to multiply it many times and take it to the next level so there is nothing that i am so great about myself i want a car i want a yacht i want a jet this is one thing and i want to do it for my family that is another thing so that's one what does family give family doesn't give only wealth the more far more important is the wisdom and values what is the foundation of life and maybe all this sounds very heavy word but knowingly or unknowingly all this has influenced us all of us our families have some values we may not call it specifically whatever it is all our families have some way of life all our families have some way of relating with each other here now in education we are giving them some identifying by formal words like values and morals and whatever it is the point is that is also an era inheritance and we need to take it to the next generation now what is expected from you is that not that you get 100 out of 100 marks in exam that is not what this stage is expected you are not even expected to behave as a good boy or a good girl that is also not so much of an idea the real thing that will make a difference is that in your family compared to so many family of average people around there are seeds of enterprise challenging your family chose not to go about comfortable life they chose not to live a lazy life they chose not to live an immoral life they chose to work hard to dream big to have confidence in ourselves struggle and prove their performance so what is expected from you is not marks what is expected from you is the spirit of challenge spirit of challenge versus comfortable life this is spirit of doing something big versus whiling away time and enjoying life spirit of building great values for your family for your business for different things not just tp time pass so if you look back at your family so one of the thing that is going to be uh, we will request you to do it in the coming time is to look back the kind of history of your family how your mother side father side what all kind of things they have done and you will find their hard work some kind of determination a kind of challenges they have taken and then you will find that compared to them we have absolutely much less difficulties so we have great opportunities to really take it up very much so now that you are at the start of your entrepreneur journey you are going to make it we have a suggestion a very very strong suggestion and this comes after interacting with students for last 23 years all from family business is howsoever illiterate your father may be maybe he cannot speak fluent english the way you can or maybe he can maybe he may not be able to use the technology the way you can whatever it is he is the best teacher so first we are going to learn from the shadow of the fathers or the parents that is how is going to be the starting point learn from the shadow but each generation if they are going to be less capable than the previous generation 
then the whole humanity will become pygmy, pygmy, pygmy. The next generation is to learn from the parents being in their shadow and then sit on their shoulder and take the business to another level. So this is what is going to be the process. Learn under, after learning, sit on their shoulder and take business 10 times bigger, 100 times bigger than what they have done. All this will happen because most important is you have an advantage that you have a father or uncle or mentor who has already got the beating for 30 years. They've already extracted the learning from that and we are going to get it ready on our platform. So there is one thing in colleges, professors can teach you about how to make money. In our family business, the fathers have already made money. So one thing is to talk about you should jump high. Another thing is you have actually jumped high. So best approach is to respect, be humble, discuss, and don't be consultant. Subse bada problem koi bhi MBA course join karta hai na, to aise dimag mein koi hawa bhusa bhar jata hai as if I already know now. I want to automate. I want to change this. We should have organization hierarchy. We should do this. We These are all consultant business. Best thing is learn to become driver of the father. What is the meaning of driver? Abhi jab driver bante na, to father jana jate ho, humko ja leke hi jana padte hai. So that's one. Second, jaha pe bhi jo meeting mein baithe na, saath mein baithna hai humko bhi. Meeting mein to kuch nahi puchh nahi gaya. Phir jab wapas gaadi mein baithe na, then only you and father are there. Then you can ask, Dad, I thought that we are going to lose the deal. Lekin aapne aise ghuma liya. Amazing. Aapne aisa kaise kiya? And then he will start telling you all the things that is there about his learning. My father is better than me. No argument. Ye sahi galat ye dimag apna chalana hi nahi hai. My father is better than me. That's it. We have no right to criticize. There is no, it's stupid to criticize father. Best is to respect and learn from them. So be very, any idea you get. For example, abhi jo mein sun raha tha, wo bol raha tha ki muze naya technology dalna hai aur uncle ne bola tu pehle MBA khatam kar. Abhi agar technology dalna hai na, to we are not going to advise. We should learn from them apne business mein technology ka kya role hai और कैसे हम लोग डिसाइड करते हैं टेक्नोलॉजी डालेंगे या नहीं डालेंगे एंड देन दे विल एक्सप्लेन यू देयर लॉजिक एंड हाउ दे लुक एट टेक्नोलॉजी सी लेट्स बी वेरी क्लियर द मेंटर्स द पेरेंट्स द अंकल्स इन फैमिली बिजनेस दे आर ऑल नॉट प्रोफेसर्स सो दे आर नॉट वेरी गुड एट एक्सप्रेसिंग बट दे हैव वेरी वेरी गुड अमाउंट ऑफ विजडम सो वी विल हैव टू लर्न हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट थिंग्स फ्रॉम देम Never advise, ask opinion. ऐसा करे तो क्या हम लोग ने सुना है बड़ी बड़ी कंपनियों में मैनेजर्स होते हैं तो अपने यहां हम लोग मैनेजर्स रखे या नहीं रखे वो आप कैसे सोचते हो एंड दैट वे यू आस्क देयर वेज ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट दे कैन टीच यू फ्रॉम देर एक्सपीरियंस एंड दैट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग सो एंड अवर प्रोग्राम डिजाइन 75% is the learning from the father, from the business, from our other people in the uh, company. Now the problem is, father's experience is rich, but it is one person's experience. Abhi kya hoga? Unho ne ek bar borrow kiya tha, aur repay karne mein bhoat taklif ho gai. To abhi unka to conclusion a gaya. Nobody should ever borrow. Bhoat problem hota hai. And that is the reason we should learn from father's experience. And we have to learn from others' experience also. And that is what is the program. That is what the professors bring to you in the class. That is what the other peers bring to you in the class. So our whole idea is learn from father business interaction 75% of the time. 
and 25% of the time in the class, this is where the faculty brings you. You, are, you now know all your faculty and you know what kind of experience they have and what kind of businesses they are connected with and how the subject that they are going to deal can be related to our business. So we learn from fathers, we learn from faculty. Now you have a career of three to four decades ahead. You say, I am 60. I have 40 years in my past. You are going to have 40 years ahead. Now nobody in the world with little sanity can say ki agle 40 saal, pichle 40 saal ke jaise honge. Nobody will say this. Obviously, the world is going to be very, very different. How much different, we don't know. But certainly, it will be different. All that we know is two things, two mega trend, which is irreversible. Pichle 30 years ago, it started and now it accelerates. One of that is global. Whatever business we talk about, for your generation, global horizon is going to be a very, very important. And that is where, you know, our program uh, will add a new richness. If some of you might be already doing business with other countries, but going to Dubai, being with people in Dubai, developing a mindset, Dubai as a gateway of Middle East, Singapore as a gateway of Far East. So when we start talking about country called Laos and Cambodia and East Timor and Indonesia, now all these were not in our radar. In our radar, world means US and UK. When we start realizing that the GDP of Middle East and Far East taken together is as big as India, it means what? It's a big market. And all of us just compete in only one small one place in India. So every one of you will start thinking about global as a perspective. Many years ago, we had one student, he had a hotel in Pune. Then a program done and all, and he was very excited. Sir, we are expanding. We are having one, one new hotel. Then he said, I asked him where? And he said, Pune. So I said, Tumko Pune ke se aur koi jaga nahi hai. Okay. After three, four years, again, we are interacting. He said, sir, you will be happy to know now we have next hotel coming up in Bangalore. By the time my question level says next, what about Tokyo and Cairo? Can we have in our radar that you can have business in Tokyo and Cairo also? My generation cannot because we come from the last 40 years. For your generation, it will be like extension of one city to another city, the next. So you will need a kind of global perspective much, much bigger than whatever the previous generation can bring you. And second thing is about technology. What all technology can do. So I was just uh, discussing with someone that uh, uh, how things are of being affected by technology and technology does not mean only computer technology. Different, different kind of technology, nanotechnology, the things that are coming place. My generation we can proudly say that we had a dial-up phone like this. We can say once upon a time we used to have a phone like this and we love to be in the memories of those old days. But for your generation, you are just at the beginning of your career. The technology impact is going to be far, far more. So if you don't know what is the meaning of the word artificial intelligence and uh, internet of things and machine learning and all, I can afford to remain backward behind it, but you can't. Even if you can't apply it in your business today, you need to be conversant with the vocabulary. So if there is somebody talks about a negobot, what does it mean and how it will work? And if somebody talks about a retort technology, whereby the, all the kitchens will be abolished everywhere in the world, at least our eyes and ears should be open. So in GFMB program, you are going to have a good kind of exposure to both global and technology. So let's understand four things. Basics, traditional, wisdom, values, and business father. Then add to it experience from professors about business around. 
then add to it the dimension and global and technology that will open up the whole kind of future that we talk about ahead. Now, this is the context. Now, let's talk about you as an individual. So far, you might have been a student, but when you join GFMB program, you are no more a student, you are a business person. We may teach you something, but we will also learn from you something. And that's how we are what we are. It's not that we were uh, uh, some down with wisdom. We learned with interaction. So one of the requirement in our program, I don't know if they might have already told you, and we started this long ago. No jeans and no t-shirts. Let's understand the spirit behind it. Jeans and t-shirt make you think casually versus a business dress makes your mind alert for business things. So in our college, our class, all our interaction, it would be business to business with proper business, formal attire. Again, it is not a uniform that we are talking about. It is the spirit behind that. Every time we are alert in business mind. Now, as far as you are concerned, you might be good at studies or you might not be good at studies. GFMB program, you are being good at studies or not is immaterial. You might be good at maths or you might be good at accounts or you might not be. That's all immaterial. What we look at it is that each one of us has some strength and it is based on that strength which we are going to grow. Some people may be very good in talking and just making talking, we may open many doors with business and some people may be very good in technology and they may work out our IT solutions for people. Everyone is different, but everyone is a dreamer in your own right. You are going to make it big because you want to make it big. All that we can tell you is that you are capable of making it big. Irrespective of your past, irrespective of the background that you come from, irrespective of your family business, you are capable. The GFMB program is going to give you platform to develop that capacity, develop that dream. Your family business is your starting point is the training ground, but that is not your destiny. When your father joined business, wherever he joined, it was a starting point. Then during the journey, he opened up many other things. Aziz Premji joined as an oil business and then he created IT business. So once you are completing the program and let's be very clear, all this is the process with the good steps. So during the program, Learn from everywhere across. During the program, don't start jumping because then it is only based on half learning. Post program, what all we are going to know? We are going to know how practically business works. We know modern management concept. We know the new technology models that are coming up and we will be ready about the opportunities that are emerging. With that, you are on a springboard. So family legacy, right? next orbit is going into another level. GD Birla gave his inheritance to Aditya Birla, who multiplied it 10 times. And Aditya Birla gives it to Kumar Mangalam Birla, he multiplies it 10 times. And that is what it is. The fun of business is not in making money. The fun of business is in overcoming challenges. Koi bolta hai na, yahan se order nahi milta hai. That is what is far more important. But to say, when we are in India, we can't think about a hotel in Tokyo. Why not? Let me start. And when I start, and when I start a hotel in Tokyo and start managing, that's the kind of learning that we are going to talk about. So our whole point is that this program is not a student program. And that is why the whole design is very different. We know how you learn. Yeah, to read from the book, mug up for the exam, and then write down the exam. 
you may mug it up, but that's not the learning. And that is why in GFMB program, exams are not important at all. Just because there is a program we may have to take exam, we take. But exam is not important. One way boring learner, you don't learn. You all like to be engaged. And that's what Hitin sir was doing when he was discussing with all of you to talk about whatever way. None of you are supposed to be expert. It is not that when Hitin sir is asking that what is working capital, he does not know. The whole point is the question is of engaging all of us, developing the confidence that other Muslim name alumina to Darniki Jarotni. Still, I should speak. And nobody laughs at ignorance of somebody else. Nobody laughs at a small business of somebody else. But so almost 10 years ago, there was a student called Rohit. He came from Kanpur. And he told me, Sir, in the program, so student aate na, kya turnover ke level wale aate na? I said, kyun puch rahe ho? Sir, my company's turnover is 1000 crore. Now, if there are very small businesses, then what am I going to learn from him? So my question to him was, can you check with your dad when he started the business, what was his level? And incidentally, when his dad started the business, he was going on cycle from house to house selling soaps, which later on became detergent and that business became Ghadi detergent soap, which is today 2000 crore. Now that a person going house to house on cycle giving soap, don't underestimate his potential. Somebody who at that time was having 10 crore thought, Are ye kya karne wala hai? Wo 10 crore wala abhi bhi 10 crore pe hai aur ye 2000 crore pe pahunch gaya. Don't judge people by the size of the businesses. Don't underestimate anyone. Just now, uh, this uh, aluminum sliding, he started talking in Hindi. Brilliant. What is important is not polished English language. Of course, if you want to go global, we should improve on it. But more important is ability to express. Just because somebody does not speak so well English, don't underestimate them. And finally, don't underestimate yourself. Okay, he was placed in some position. He worked with some way and he's somewhere. That's it. It does not mean I can't do it. This confidence in ourselves is what we are looking. See, at the end of the GFMB program, what is it that you will learn? If some person asks, Abhi itne sare alumni aake gaye na aapke saath mein. उन्होंने बोला क्या सीखा वो एक इधर उधर का बोल दिया होगा क्या इतना ही खाया था प्रोग्राम में प्रोग्राम में तो हजार चीज थी उन्होंने तो चार पांच चीज बताई बट थ्री फोर थिंग्स ईच वन ऑफ देम हैड वन ऑफ द थिंग इज यू वुड नोटिस द कॉन्फिडेंस द कॉन्फिडेंस दैट वी कैन डू इट द कॉन्फिडेंस दैट आई वांट टू डू इट एंड इन बिजनेस इट इज 90% इज ओनली कॉन्फिडेंस अगर कॉन्फिडेंस है ना तो बाकी के चीजें सॉल्व होती है सेकंड थिंग इज Courage, himmat honi chi. Everybody says, go this way and I go this way. That is where the money is. That is where the challenge is. So courage, himmat. Or ye jab hota hai na, to ye ek sawal aata hai. Log kya kahenge, uska effect down hona chi. Mere mein himmat honi chi hai. Log chai kuch bhi bole. And that is what is going to be a very essential quality. Naresh Goel naam ka ek aadmi. एक जमाने में ना पूरे वर्ल्ड में उसका नाम था क्या कमाल है एयरलाइन बनाया इतना बड़ा एयरलाइन एंड समथिंग हैपेंस एंड सडनली एवरीबडी स्टार्ट सेइंग ही इज अ क्रूक एंड ही इज लाइक दिस एंड ही इज लाइक दैट और सब गालियां देने लगते हैं जो स्टेडियम में बैठे ना उनको तो खाली बोलना है तो कुछ भी बोलेंगे जब पीच पे खेल रहे ना तो कभी सेंचुरी भी लगेगी कभी जीरो पे आउट भी होंगे we have to decide. We want to be in the stadium commenting about others or be on the pitch. If you are on the pitch, be very clear. Lo kya kahenge, don't worry too much about it. That is what is courage. And third thing is about conviction. Agar kisi ko abhi aapko koi bolta hai ki you are going to make it, you know, your first hundred crore in next ten years. Now, will you have that conviction that I can? 
or you still want to keep saying, no, no, I am very small. I don't have resources. I am not born in a rich family. I am not that great. This is one versus conviction that I'm going to do big. So post GFMB program, these are the kind of qualities that you are going to develop. Confidence, courage, conviction. But ye thing chi dhana, ye insan ko Hitler bana sakti. Hitler had all the three. So you require the fourth C that is called compassion. You have a role in your family. You have a role in your community. You have a role in the world. You are going to contribute to others. You want to do big things. Agar aap so crore kama hoge. So it's not with the idea of one yacht of 100 crore, but make a hospital of 100 crore. So this whole objective is to make a difference to, to the world. So GFMB program is a program to develop that personality. When the bird flowers into a big thing, we cannot bring new potential in you. All the program can do is to unfold the potential that is already there. So something that already ability you had, it does not matter whether you got good marks in school or not. That is not thing to do with potential. It does not mean whether you succeeded in your previous venture or not. It has nothing to do. It has to do with your belief in yourself. And the whole objective at the end of the program, if you develop that belief in yourself, you develop a dream, you want to make a big difference to the world. That is where the program is world. Now, everywhere in the program, all over the world, People ask, you degree mile ki ki nahi, baad mein placement hoga ki nahi, kya syllabus hoga, kya subject hoga. And this is where this program is very, very different. Immaterial of all these exams and tests and all is okay. It's, that is why it is said that is the most unique program in the world. Again, to talk about the world, always Harvard is supposed to be good. We don't think so. Harvard may be good for something else. But for the work that whatever we need to do, we all are capable to think. So it's the best program and most appropriate for people like you.